Ladies and gentlemen, today we celebrate the 40th anniversary of Notre Dame men's basketball's 1978 Final Four berth. And it's pandemonium. We've seen it before. It's happening again at Notre Dame, where the Irish have upset top-rated Marquette 65-59. Long before achieving membership in the Big East and the ACC, the Notre Dame men's basketball program in the 1970s reigned as the most prominent and successful independent team in the nation. The Irish annually played one of the most difficult schedules in the country in front of packed houses here at what was then known as the Athletic and Convocation Center. The Irish put together a long list of victories over number one ranked opponents, defending NCAA champions and eventual NCAA champions. And one of the highlights of that period came in the 1977-78 season when Notre Dame advanced to the NCAA Final Four in St. Louis. Dribuka up the middle, he's back in the ball game. Season, Notre Dame played a dozen games against teams that finished in the final UPI poll of coaches, eight of those games against teams that ranked ninth or better. Captains Dave Batten and Duck Williams headlined the Notre Dame unit that twice beat a UCLA team that finished second nationally, in the process handing the Bruins their only regular season defeats. Another highlight on this very floor came in late February 1978 when the Irish welcomed top-ranked and defending NCAA champion Marquette. In that contest, Notre Dame came back from a 14-point halftime deficit against Al McGuire's Warriors and went on to win 65-59. In NCAA tournament play, the Irish defeated 14th-rated Houston, 14th-ranked Utah, and then avenged a one-point regular season home loss with a 20-point victory over third-ranked DePaul to win the NCAA Midwest Regional in Lawrence, Kansas. It is over. Notre Dame thrashes Houston, 177. They beat Utah by 13, and now have taken DePaul by 20. The Irish did all that with an all-star cast of players, 10 of whom were eventually selected in the NBA draft. And Batten puts Notre Dame back in front. Batten led the Irish in both scoring and rebounding, but the Irish also saw Williams, freshman Kelly Trapuca, and guard Rich Branning finish with double-figure scoring averages as part of one of the deepest and most talented rosters in Notre Dame history. A roster that finished with a 23-8 record and became the first and still only Notre Dame men's basketball team to earn a trip to the NCAA Final Four. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming back managers, coaches, and players from the 1977-78 Final Four team in attendance with us today, team manager Joe Toddy. <laughs> Assistant coach Scott Thompson. Assistant coach Dick Kuchin. Head coach, Digger Phelps. Guard, Tim Healy. Center, Gilbert Salinas. Guard, Jeff Carpenter. Guard, Stan Wilcox. Forward, Tracy Jackson. Guard, Rich Branning. Forward, Bruce Flowers. And forward, Kelly Trapuca. For those of you that remember what it was like back when these guys played, but to give you a little brief history, in all their careers, what they did was more than the Final Four in 78. In their careers as players, they knocked off five number one teams, starting with Bill Cartwright in San Francisco here, 
then Marquette, then the Palm double overtime, and then in the 80-81 season, Trapuca, Jackson, Woolworths, and those guys, they knock off Kentucky on the road in Freedom Hall between Christmas and the year, New Year's when they were number one, and then Ralph Sampson in Virginia and Chicago when they were number one. These guys in 79 for 10 straight games were number one in the country. And these guys, a lot of them were part of we, Notre Dame, playing UCLA in Pauley Pavilion, which was built in 1965, never lost a non-conference game till 76, but never lost four in a row until Notre Dame beat them four straight years at Pauley Pavilion. But more importantly, what we taught at this university, yes, after the game of basketball, we got four years to get you ready for the game of life. And that's leadership to make a difference in this world we live in today. Leadership being creativity, risk taker, street smarts, survivor. And what all these guys have done in their lives since leaving the game of basketball, they are nothing but prime time players still to this day in the game of life. Thank you, God bless you, and go Irish!